Today's video is sponsored by Simply Safe. There's no safe like Simply Safe. So welcome back to Outdoors with the Morgans. It's getting dark. Why don't you tell them what we're doing? All right. Mike has some fireworks lined up with some music. We are at Tom Haas's from Concrete with the Haas's YouTube channel. We're at a 60th surprise birthday party. And we did this 10 years ago yeah. at his 50th birthday mm -hmm. party. So what we got here, we've got this uh, Bose sound system here. Uh, we've had this for probably 10 years at the least. Sound system? Maybe 15. We have it probably almost 20. It's a Bose L1, puts out a lot of music. And instead of running extension cords from the shop over there, we got the Jackery battery bank. Yep. And by the way, when I tested all this out, it said it would run this Bose for 44 hours. Oh, good. We're safe. So yeah. we're going to walk down here in the field. It's getting dark. Hopefully you can see this all right. But uh, it'll be a nice show. It will. I spent some time today, a lot of time, kind of hooking all this up. Uh, if you remember, last year, not this past 4th of July, but at Eva's graduation party, I had a bit of an incident where a mortar whacked me in the leg. And the problem with that show was it was pouring down rain, we were rushed, and I just didn't have the room to lay everything out the way I liked. And anyway, I got hit in the leg. So we're going to start things off. I've got these uh, barrage candles. They're 196 shots. I have them set up on uh, stakes in the ground. Give like a fan effect. Got the pandemonium 205 shot barrage. And all these little 200 gram cakes. All fused together. Use liquid nails on everything. Don't have to worry about it falling over. And... You can kind of see, nice little layout. When I'm lighting these, I have it laid out, so when I'm lighting it, I light up front. I'll come back. Yeah, I think this is number two. I have them all numbered, and I just kind of leapfrog back and forth. So when I light something up there, I'm back here. After I light something back there, I'm up there. So that's the plan. When she wrapped her love and all on the dance floor at Chelsea's bar I should have turned her away But I was out of sea I was firing, she was gasoline But we were both sad and lonely After what death had done But like rattlesnakes kicked across the ground our true loves were dead, and our hearts were full of grief. I was firing, she was gasoline, good God. I was firing, she was gasoline. But we helped each other outlaw to ease some of the pain. Best friends and lovers most of the time. But I would go mad when she would turn me. I was firing, she was gasoline Yeah, I was firing, she was gasoline Gasoline, good God, too 
much fire and too much gasoline Well, we cleaned that mess up We made amends the best we could But we could not be together anymore I can't say that I don't miss you But we gotta let it be Cause I'm still fire and you're still gasoline Yeah, I was firing, you was gasoline I was firing, you was gasoline I'm down here at the Woodyard today. Uh, last night was Tom's birthday party. Everything went really well. A uh, really good fireworks show, and I think everyone had a good time. What I just showed you was just the finale of the fireworks show. I had to mute the audio, and I put some other music over top of it so I didn't get a copyright strike. But the song for the finale was Johnny Cash, Ring of Fire, and it was perfect for it. Worked out really well. No injuries, which is good. Uh, it's kind of nice to get back on the saddle, so to speak. Uh, I was a little nervous. I'm not going to lie to you. If, you. if you remember, last year at Eva's graduation party, I got hit in the leg with a mortar. And I have been doing fireworks for years. Never had an injury. And I wasn't going to be one of those guys that ended up in the emergency room that night. But it hit me hard. It did. The best way to describe it, is like getting hit in the leg with a baseball bat but harder and the mortar exploded on the ground that wasn't what hurt just the impact of it and it was about that big around because that's how big the circle was on my leg and it had broke the skin around it but it was all swollen up black and blue for a long time so i was a little bit nervous there last night and uh but the key was in the preparation and having the room to set everything up the way that I like to do. And last night I had a bunch of people saying, hey, you want help setting them up? And I said, no, you know what? I'm just going to back my truck down in the field. And uh, I had plenty of time to get everything laid out the way I wanted and kind of think through the whole fireworks show. And uh, it went really good. But I think we mentioned earlier, we did the same thing at Tom's 50th birthday party 10 years ago. I can't believe how fast time flies. But if you haven't seen Tom's channel, Concrete with the Hosses, uh, you should check it out. They're a bunch of good guys. Him and his sons and all the other guys that work there, they were all at the party last night. And just a good group of guys. And Tom and I have been friends for a long time. And uh, I don't know. We just have a lot in common. You know what I mean? And uh, he's been a good friend. He has. But anyway, I'm down here at the Woodyard today. I'll show you what I got into here. I haven't been down here too long, and I'm cutting up more of this red oak. Definitely not the weather for firewood cutting. It's hot today, but I did see later this week, I think we're going to have a change in the weather. It's going to cool down some, but I want to get this all done before we move on to something else. So I brought a few poles down here, cutting out some saw logs. These ones are tweeners. You know, like this one here, I think that one's going to firewood. These other two I will get some lumber out of. What I do, I throw the bigger ones over here on this side. I'll downsize them with the split fire log splitter and swing them over here to the split force. But as you can see, the wood bunker is getting filled back up again. I think we have enough red oak. It'll be close to fill this entire wood bunker. I do. But anyway, that is the update for now. I've got a bunch of things to take care of inside uh, this afternoon. And I'll report back tomorrow morning. Uh, before I shut her down for the day, I'm going to do a quick wash on Melissa's vehicle. I noticed there's a little uh, firework fallout on the roof. And I want to try this out. I just have a little bit left in here. Uh, this is Rain-X, uh, is the wash in a Chemical Guys foam cannon. You can see there's just a little bit left in there. 
and this will be a good test on a black vehicle. I'm not going to dry it. I'll just hit it with the leaf blower and I don't know. There'll still be streaks. It's black. So far, not too shabby. I kind of like that Rain-X stuff. I'll put a uh, link in the description for that in the foam cannon. And I had a question for you guys as well. Have any of you ever had a vehicle ceramic coated? I don't know anything about it, but everyone keeps telling us this would be a good candidate to have that done. So let me know in the comments if it's worth doing. And if you're in the uh, North Pittsburgh area or Pittsburgh area, if you can recommend someone. So at the beginning of today's video, I mentioned that it was sponsored by Simply Safe, and they're a great company and a great fit for our channel. As you know, I take home security very seriously, and our Simply Safe system is the key component to our security plan. Now, believe it or not, according to FBI crime data, most break-ins occur during daylight hours, and they peak during the summer months right now. Now I chose Simply Safe for our security system for several reasons. Number one is their reputation, and everyone that I know that has one love it. And the other reason I did was the ease of installation. I had our entire system up and running in a single evening, and it has been glitch-free since the day that I installed it, and that was over four years ago. Simply Safe is comprehensive security for the whole home, with advanced sensors and cameras to detect threats from break-ins to fires, floods, and more. With 24-7 professional monitoring, Simply Safe agents are ready to spring into action to keep you safe, promptly assessing the situation, contacting you, and dispatching first responders to your address, even if you're away or unable to respond. It was named among the best home security systems of 2024 by US News and World Report. That's five years running. Another great thing about Simply Safe is you are never locked into a long-term contract. I hate those. You can cancel at any time. The pricing is very transparent, very affordable, starting at less than a dollar a day, and there are no hidden fees. Simply Safe has exclusive 24-7 live guard protection and the Smart Alarm indoor camera. With Fast Protect monitoring and live guard protection, Simply Safe agents can act within five seconds of receiving your alarm. Via the Smart Alarm indoor camera, agents can even see and speak to intruders in real time, stopping them in their tracks. And with having eyes on the scene like that, they can confirm the emergency and they can pass on critical details to 911 and get you a priority response. With their combination of advanced sensors and cameras and monitoring technologies, it gives me peace of mind knowing that who and what I care about most is protected. Save 20% on your Simply Safe security system when you sign up for a Fast Protect monitoring plan and get your first month free. Visit simplysafe.com slash morgans to customize yours. There's no safe like Simply Safe.
knocking this out pretty quick here. I just said that and I dropped one. See how that goes? And I dropped it again. I could pinch it harder. I just don't want to start splitting it sideways. This splitter has a lot of power. A lot of people always said I should uh, break stumps down with this thing. It, it's powerful, but it's still probably just a 20, 28 ton splitter or something. I don't even know. And stumps, it would be very difficult to try to split them down. But this works great for this. I mean, it was kind of hot cutting all this wood but it's in the upper 80s right now and I'm sitting in an air-conditioned cab downsizing this wood then tomorrow morning Levi will come down and uh, he'll split all this up with the split force into both bundle wood and bulk firewood right now Levi and the hunt man ran out for a little bit Melissa is with uh, grandson Bo right now so that means Levi and I are kind of tag teaming the uh, responsibilities around here but we all work pretty good together one thing nice about the equipment that we have been able to buy over the years and, and recently uh, it has really helped to still get a lot of stuff done uh, people don't have a lot of people I think some of you do many of you do I should say understand what things are like around here but some don't have any idea so I'll tell you uh, it, it's it can be challenging at times having a son with autism you know nonverbal he's over 30 years old set in his ways and it can be a challenge and you have to plan everything accordingly and I'll be honest it takes additional time but that's no big deal at all because we are able to uh, we're able to handle it you know it's not always easy and at times it can be frustrating but we all realize how blessed and how fortunate that we are. And Hunter, I'm telling you, for someone that doesn't talk, he has taught me a lot over the years. I mean a lot. About patience, about what's really important in life, all those sorts of things. He was on camera a little bit the other day and he laughed a little bit and people said they never heard him laugh. He actually laughs quite a bit and that that little chuckle that he gave in that video was nothing, nothing like one of his big belly laughs. Sometimes he'll just get to giggling and then he can go from that to getting upset, you know, but Hunter has a fantastic laugh, quality laugh. You cannot, there, it'd be impossible not to smile or laugh yourself if you heard Hunter laugh one of his good laughs. You just couldn't do it. Not happening. But while we're splitting, we're going to go over a couple other things. The uh, pavilion waiting for a price back. It'll be coming in the next day or two for the addition on that. And then. I have an idea what it'll be if that works out we're gonna do the addition and then pour the floor in there if their schedule or whatever doesn't work out we'll pour the floor in there first and we'll get the kiln going We've got a lot of stuff going on and winter is gonna be here before you know it and to be honest I would not be splitting wood right now if I didn't have so much down here. It's the only reason I'm doing it. I bought all those log truck loads of logs and I'm glad that I did and I'm glad that I'm getting ahead of the game for next year. This never happens. So 
If I hadn't bought all those logs, I definitely wouldn't be uh, doing this today. would be doing some other stuff for sure. But I'm convinced buying those log truck loads of logs, like, yeah, you got to pay money for them. But if you want to make any amount of wood or any amount of lumber, and you're a one-man band, or in our case, if me and Levi, it's the only way to go. There's no way we could produce the wood that we do if we were out cutting it ourselves. Just no way. And we'd be going through all of our trees in the process. And even if you're buying it from somebody else, you know, you need a whole logging crew. These guys, you know, I can get this wood pretty reasonable because they're getting paid to cut it. They're a clearing contractor, not a logging company. So I get it pretty reasonable and they are just set up to do it. You know, most of the wood, except for the bigger stuff, is all cut mechanically with a, you know, feller buncher. And they're just set up to do this way better than I am. And they're way faster at it. Like that last load, this stuff right here, this red oak, I was thinking of that the other day. I looked at that pile of logs over there and I thought to myself, even with the equipment I have, it would take me over a week, eight hours a day, easy, to get that much wood out of the woods. And then I'd have a bunch of stumps out in the woods, I'd have a bunch of tops out in the woods, and a big mess. So, I have to say, that's one of the best things I ever started doing was buying, buying the wood. You know, if I was just doing, See, I can't see what I'm doing there. If I was just doing, you know, 15 or 20 cords of wood a year and wanted to saw, you know, a couple thousand feet of lumber a year, I wouldn't buy the wood. But for what we do, no other way around it. All right, I think I'm going to uh, put you on time lapse here and get this all finished up. I got a nice jag of wood there busted down to manageable size that's good but anyway before I wrap this up don't forget foam cannon and that rain X wash will be in the description check out Tom's channel concrete with the hosses and let me know on that ceramic coating thing and I don't think I'm forgetting anything I think that's about it appreciate y'all being here and I will catch you on the next one oh flail mower recommendations